Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbert's Gaming Channel. I am the Dude and we're about to play Conflict of Nations on our Israel playthrough. Day 26. Okay, hello. What have we got here? Ukraine have sent some troops in over here, have they? Okay. Oh wait, no actually, stop that. We can... We can deal with them a lot quicker. Okay. What the heck? Things have happened. Bad things have happened. Lots of bad things have happened. Start bombing that. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to have to go and take out them rather than just taking the hits. Right. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Turkey have put their attention onto us, so now we've got to fight back. But we haven't really got anything to fight back with, so this is going to be fun. Um. Is that a good idea? It's going to take two hours. If they start pushing... Look at the moment they're fighting my jets. All my jets were there. I had a squad of five there. Oh man, it's all going pitong. Right. Um, 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 push. Do we want more jets? No, we need more infantry at the moment. We've got infantry, ships, and artillery coming through, but they're just taking forever. This is why this is this should have been mostly done by now, but unfortunately, it's not. Okay, as you can see, we started attacking Turkey. I think we set it off last night. Uh, we moved in real quick. We've taken city, city. We started bombarding this city, and hopefully we'll take it very soon. Um, we're gonna start rushing that one, just so it's ready because this infantry unit is gonna be moving in to take that city. They're moving down from wherever they come from, probably across the sea, down, or maybe from here. Um. Oh man, this is crazy. And they've got they've got a load of planes, which is nuts. They've got bombers, which have been trying to bomb us. They've destroyed three of our ships so far. Um, luckily, we've got one Corvette left that we built yesterday. We've got the destroyer coming out soon, which we'll probably have to replace this one. Um, but we're just going to keep pummeling into whatever's going on here. Hopefully we can take out their airport and then stop them coming here. It'll just slow them down a little bit. But we've got our tanks moving in with our infantry there. So hopefully we can take that city anyway. Um, and then we shall probably be looking to take Istanbul. Samson. Diyarbakir. And um, Adana. Once I've got control of Turkey homelands, I'll be quite satisfied... However, it looks like they'll probably be able to trump me quite quickly. Uh, Ankara user declared war. So, they declared war for no real reason. They're clearly an ally. Let's have a look at their coalition. Eesh. they got two in there. Iraq's left them. So, no. They must just be a friend. Maybe. Hex Ukraine. Um. All right. I don't know. No idea why they've come across to try and attack. Unless they were attacking Turkey, and now just I happen to be there. Oh my goodness me! Big fat squad of tanks coming. Look like they've been Russian. Um, they're probably going to smush us. Level 6. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep going this way. <laughs> um, try and outrun them and take this just to annoy them. If we can. 
there's a lot here, so we'll be fighting it for a while, and we'll probably get crushed from behind here. So it's going to be a bit of a chore, but I just want to cause as much damage as I can. Ooh, okay. We've got troops moving. Everything's going that can be going. Problem is our components haven't really been moving very well. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I have been trying to put some resources onto our component cities and sort of into our economy, as you can see. And I invested heavily... Uh, financially into supplies. Someone was selling off a load of supplies and they still are. So we bought thousands but I couldn't afford to really do any more. So this is going to be one heck of a fight guys. I'm not going to lie to you. We may lose. Just need these troops to pump out so we can start moving. I need to get rid of these seas. And all those planes. Ooh, it's going to be a tough 24 hours. All right, guys, I'll leave that one here and I'll see you on day 27. Hey all, and welcome to day 27 of our Israel playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Okay, guys, as you can see, we have achieved quite a bit in way of Turkey we are bombarding this city here which they took from us we have artillery moving in here so oh, we lost Ankara we've taken control of Izmir and we destroyed all their aircraft we have a um, destroyer Blitz in this unit. This has taken forever to kill this one. And they got one hefty unit sitting there. Alright, we're gonna go move in because that hasn't moved for a little while. So we're gonna take the destroyer and actually put it to some use by trying to wreck this. So um, I'm running infantry down across here, which is they're trying to do the same thing, take some land back. That's okay. Um, let's have a look at these. We have Ethiopia has changed to peace. Interesting. Arms industry has been built in Limassol. And lots of fights against Turkey. It's been one. This is going to be one heck of a game, guys. I just know it. Because once we've dealt with Turkey, if we can, we're on to Sweden. After we take out Iraq, of course, because we know they're all allies. Um, this is what we've got. We've got artillery, jets, infantry being made. So that's everything we can do at the moment. Um, we bought some more supplies, but we don't have much more money to actually... I mean, how much of these can I buy? Let's have to buy another thousand. Just keep the supplies in so we can build more and more bits. I'd like some more boats, ideally. Um, like I say, I've been bombarding this troop here for so long. This has taken a lot of my destroyer's time. So I'm not very happy about that, um, which is why we're gonna be moving it on. Hopefully we can really wreck this and then we'll bombard the city of Samsung as well. How long are they gonna take? One hour, seven minutes. If I was to move to this point, three hours, 15 minutes. No, nope, that's not even worth it. We're gonna lose that land, but we have control of the city and we could defend it against one infantry, no problem. Um, we get, like I say, we're bombarding this one, so we're going to have that taken care of by morning, and then we'll move in and take it, and move up, try and take DR back here. Um, however you say it, but I'm butchering it, I'm sure. This is a nightmare. If we zoom out, you can see we have like our little lungs, and we lost most of the land we took from Chad, but that's no big deal. A little bit of South Sudan still left, and Morocco haven't moved their troops either because they are busy. Look at this. Sweden has pushed Morocco out of Europe. We are in trouble, guys and gals. I'm not sure what to do here, but we'll have to try and. What I want to do is take control of Turkey's homelands, which goes up here. 
I don't really want to go across the river. We'll try and hold this side of the river. Once we've done that, we'll try and build up some defense for when Sweden come, because I'm sure they will. I need to get some more boats in the sea to also defend our shores. So um, we'll see what happens. Right, I'll leave that one here and I'll see you on day 28. Hello all and welcome to day 28 of our Israel campaign on Conflict to Nations. Okay, here's our land guys. Morocco is still doing nothing, as you can see, and there's still been pushed back across the water. And as you can see here, we have taken a fair bit of Turkey. So I've been pushing all day long. Uh, we've got troops moving up. As you can see, I will keep moving around. You know, just set on some horses to so it keeps them busy. We'll go collect it all up. Lovely, chubby. Right, so that'll do. We are attacking this city as we speak, which looks like we're about to lose. Um, hmm. Have we got any jets? Gaza built a jet not so long ago. Where is it? There it is. Oh, yeah. That's right. We've got it going on already. So we're trying to help them out. Which is exactly what we want. And we'll send... Oh, crud, on. We'll send this one down into the city once they're done. It's going to take a while, but hey-ho. Uh, this city here, we've actually got some artillery moving up with some National Guard. So we'll clear it with the artillery after a few days. And then we'll move in and take that. Ankara still has troops in it. And so does Antalya. That's actually got infantry and some armoured vehicle. Which is why my tank has diverted course to go round. Because we'll be bringing the artillery in there also. And we'll send that in with the tank. So that'll look good for us there. The attack that we've been going for ages and ages and ages on this armoured unit here. We've just been beating it back, but it's, we're not doing much damage. Um, we've dropped it about 30 points of health at the moment. Um, you can see <laughs> Ukraine was actually attacking Turkey, and they still are attacking the land. So it's quite interesting. We're going to be finding them around here more often, I should imagine. We've got some there and there, and we're going to be dealing with those on the way through. So um, we'll tidy it all up. Now, the amount of troops we've got, let's have a look. We've got, we're making a corvette, a couple of jets, and lots of infantry. Because I'm going to be reinforcing a lot of our places. And we really need to start knocking out more boats. So hopefully we can get to work on that. Talking of which, let's upgrade some more resources. We're going to need more components. So if we can get some components put on. That would be great. Um, we've got 373 per hour on them. Components of 325 is pretty pretty good, to be fair. But we must keep going with more. Right, there's lots of supplies we could gain from this area. Um, we'll do that at some other point. Can we upgrade that to a level 5? Yes. And now we're out of resources. We don't have enough rare materials either in order to get any more research at the moment, but we might be able to stick some more research on in the morning. Uh, we could spend some money and buy a bunch more. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll buy some. Leave ourselves 11,000. And we'll take these two. Got any rare materials? No. So it's rare materials that are short and components that are short. Once we take back Antalya, that will help. We're already building economy in some of the cities we're taking anyway. So that's nice. Um, yeah. Slowly but surely we're pushing in. Hopefully our jet picks up the speed and 
deals with this quick. And we can have that city as well. And then we've only got that one to take in Samsung. I don't think this is, can produce any troops. It can just house any jets, but they're not sending anything at the moment, so that's okay. So we take that out. They shouldn't be able to make any more land units at the moment. Oh, they probably could there. Okay, that's another. We'll keep an eye on that as we go forward. All right, yep. I'm going to go back and take this city as well soon. So, um... To send him in. Hopefully that doesn't rebel. Damn if it does. I'll be be so sad. Anyway, what we'll do is before that gets there in how many hours? Six, oh, six hours. That's not long. We'll make sure it's clear with our jets. How long till I get a new jet? Ages. Right. Might have to send it over and just do a little scout out first after we've attacked this one. Alright guys, well I'll leave that one here and I'll see you on day 29. Hey all, welcome to day 29 of our Israel playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Okay, let's have a look at our front line guys. As you can see, we've taken pretty much all of Turkey's homeland province. Um, we've got a little chunk to do here and there. We've got a lot of stuff to look at events wise, so we're going to take a peek at that in a minute. Um, as you can see, we have jets in the area. We've cleared this rogue state one, took over this city, so we're going to take it back, as well as all the land around it. Perfect. We've got more troops on the way. Let's have a little scout up here as well, because as you can see, Adana has got no troops in it either. Maybe it's worth us doing that. We need to clear Ankara and Antalya. And that'll be decent. We we still bombarding this lot. They're just not moving, and it's taking forever. But I do have a corvette going around to join the fight over there, so that should speed up a little bit. Um, and they're still scouting Aljorf, and we have some troops over here. I transported some over just in case we have issues that way, as we've been building quite a few troops. Figured it'd be worth spreading out a little bit. We'll get these troops up into Adana as well so that we can prepare to deal with all this up here. Hopefully I've got some more artillery pieces which seem to have been knocked out. Let's um no not that button. Let's have a look now. So we lost National Guard Antalya and Sivas. been bombing the poop out of them. City entered. By Ukraine. Turkey's been taken. They took Mersin. Cool, blimey. Well, a lot's been happening anyway. As we can see, we've got... I cannot see any of our artillery emplacements so I need some more let's have a look at what we're building currently we're building two boats so we've got a corvette and a destroyer being made two jets being made and some more infantry can I get some more artillery on production please for defense and attack we do need these things so we can bombard the poop out of them excellent we'll probably need to get our let's have a look at our industry actually yeah, arms level 5 in Elat. Our men's building 5. They were building 4 there. Could build another 4 here. Just to increase our component production. As that's what we want to be doing right now. Can't afford a 4 there. Is there any rare materials being made that we could really upgrade? No, we can't afford it yet. Right. They're still selling these. Crazy. I'll buy it all anyway. Um, cool. 
we'll have to wait and we'll upgrade our rare materials production otherwise we're going to get behind on our technologies so yeah our jets are going around just keeping an eye on that city at the moment and we're going to be having a look over here we'll make sure we clear this area and start taking back these cities which will be lovely to be honest with you how long are they going to take 20 minutes once we've had a look around here if there's nothing much going on we'll take these lands and i'll have a look at the city and just see if ankara is ready to go while these guys are walking past we might be able to split some off and go capture that so um we'll see what we can do um going forward yeah we're going to still conquer all these so we'll be taking them out from the sea and i need to get ready because our fight with sweden is getting closer as they have now approached or crossed the sea to come and fight morocco big problems coming and if you look at the score 1000 points already i thought our game was going all right when we we're at 400 odd a thousand points is pretty nuts hopefully south africa come up and join the fight uh, they've said they'll stay this side so while i take ethiopia and chad so if south africa could get up there that'll work out quite nicely we might be able to tag team them a little bit without allying because we are not joining any coalitions no, no, no. This is solo. It's going to be difficult. I don't think we got what it takes at the moment, but we need to push out and make stuff happen. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll leave that one here, guys. We'll be back on day 30. Well, hopefully I've got some more good news for you where we've retaken this chunk and this chunk and maybe all the cities will be nice probably going to be this bit left but we'll be working on that with our boats obviously we have the extra boats on the way and we might send some of them along the coast just to sort of warn sweden off a little bit slow them down because it's not going to be long before they start landing over here is it we'll see what we can do all right guys i'll see you on day 30 Hello everyone and welcome to day 30 of our Israel playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Okay, that's our land as you can see. Oh, hello. Hmm. First things first, we're going to send in our jet to kill these. We got any more jets? What are my jets doing? I only got the one. That's lame. We've got a message which I'll have a look at. That's probably response from south africa i've pushed forward an idea for south africa i said i'm solo so i'm not coalition enough but i do offer peace or an alliance um without joining so um i'm quite happy to have peace i said we're neither one of us are probably going to be able to take sweden on our own so uh hopefully they've responded nicely to that um we've got another corvette here so i'm going to send that in to join on this booty wherever that one is on here I can go help there. Can we build more boats? Please keep the boats coming. That's what we like. Right, we've got 59 events. A lot of them. Ethiopia. All right. Uh, we've got some infantry, artillery, nice. Territory lost, our uh, Walla. Right, so that's potentially coming more here. We lost this one as well by the look of it. Okay. Good thing I'm sending troops down this way. I need more airports, literally. Just noticed that. It's too far to go. Um... Please come this way. And then go that. We shall bomb them from there. Excellent. Get the rest of the troops up. 
Looking good. We're still waiting for this one to calm down. Three more, four more percent. Nice. And our troops are flapping around everywhere. So let's have a look at this message and see what's going on. So, as you can see, uh, hey, I'm playing a, a solo YouTube playthrough, so I want, won't coalition up, but if you want an alliance between us, I'm okay with that. Sweden is coming. I don't think either of us can solo them. Sure, I advise you build a lot of anti-air and strong navy. Okay, so we do need some anti-air. That is one thing we've been advised, and I've, I've thought about it for a while. Did we start building? Yeah. Need more. Well, we're not far off, are we? Right, cool. We'll get that research soon. Let's not spend any rare resources. <laughs> right, what can we build? Whoosh. What do these need? Army base level 3. So we need some army base level 3s coming up. Oosh. Skadoosh. Can we... Oh my god, that's... That's the resource heavy, that is. We ain't got any level 3s yet. Right. And we're really poor on the old components. Well, that's not good. That's because we're building so many boats. We've got two destroyers being made and a jet and some more infantry, but that's not enough. Okay. Well, we do need the boats, so that'll be alright. Greece is still here, which I'm quite surprised at, to be honest with you. Mm. Rome. They're pushing up and leaving the seas without anyone in them makes me think we could probably attack their homeland seas without any real issue well they're coming oh dear right what we, got? we don't know what we got but we're going to keep bombarding it anyway these are moving around I did have a ah that's where my jets are gone I had my jets bombing these I bet they've lost them of course I have of course I have. Great. Now these have been bombarding these for ages and we're getting there. We took about 150 hit points off. Got a lot of work to do here. And that's two boats, so um it'll take time, but we'll get there and then we'll claim that land. We've got the artillery moving up on Ankara here, so we can start bombarding that unit and we're not gonna enter the city until that's dealt with. Same as this. Once that's clear, this unit will move in. We have some defensive positions on our city, so we've got defences in place. We're moving more in, and I want to be looking to take Iraq as soon as possible. But we have to be careful because we obviously got Sweden pushing up. I've got to do it in such a way where we can now fight Chad. We've got to push Chad back. We've got to be careful for Ethiopia because they're right here as well. Ideally, I would take Ethiopia out first and then move west through Chad and then we're going to sit there because we've promised we wouldn't go any further south or west than that. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see how it plays out, guys. Um, I'll get that research started as soon as possible so we can upgrade our mobile SAMs. And hopefully we can send some mobile SAMs dotted around just near cities uh, with some troops to support. And but mainly I need the boats to sort of hold their end to protect our cities from the sea. I think that's the best bet. We'll see what happens. But it's all down to what happens over here. They're moving reasonably quickly through these lands we've got to be careful if they get too quick we're going to have to go and stop them if we can anyway they're well well far ahead of us look at this 1077 we're at 447 holy smokes 
All right. Well, we'll see how this plays out, and I'll see you guys on day 31. Thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying, please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more daily content. And I'll see you on the next one. The dude is out.